hooked up. So I got to come back down here. Go widescreen there. All right. Down to the uh, dorms to work on these new Climate Master piece of junks. And here's one that we pulled out. You guys seen it in the last video. There's a cover that goes over all this and screws around it. And yet this is the part that you see when you come up to here. So do you ever check any pressures on these new Climate Master two-piece bastards, right? There's the blower, the water connections, water source heat pump. There's the drain down there. Here's a good look at this drain here. Of course, see how low? See this probe, man? And they, if these things aren't level or perfect, they freaking set off the alarm. So I need to bend that probe up. I've been bending that probe up too. Good look at it. Look how close it is. The pan holds water up to here before it overflows, but the probe is like barely off the freaking base. So if this thing don't sit perfectly level or whatever, the water rolls back there, even though it isn't overflowing, it'll hit the sensor. And we had a whole bunch of these before that were tripping on condensate alarm without the drain even being backed up. So full retard on the design of these things. Okay, so I need to run the unit to, to fit it, put the refrigerator in. Same thing if I was having to diagnose something with the pressure. So once you get the doghouse off of the compressor and you get your gauges hooked up, or would be shorty gauges if I wasn't doing this. Now you gotta like get the water connected and I'm gonna have to slide this bitch back in there with some of the panels on there just to run the damn thing. And then I'm gonna have to take it back apart to get my gauges off. See, this is so stupid. You gotta put this cover on or it's aero bypass. This is how you have to do it on these pieces of shit. Bring the hoses up here. Try to block off as much of this air from bypassing the coil as you can. And you have the refrigerator. All right. 